So going off plan, okay, so I had a client, uh, one of my coaching clients that she went off plan this weekend and she was telling me about how she felt like shit, she felt out of control, like she just was not dialed in and this is how you feel after you've lived this lifestyle for a while and you go off plan, like you're going to feel like this, you're going to feel like shit. Matter of fact, when I was in Colombia, I didn't work out the whole time, I was there two weeks um, and I felt like shit, like I literally was like a little depressed, like just kind of down in the dumps, just no energy. Um, and it, it was tough. It was tough. And, you know, I could have went out and ran and things like that. So it's all it goes on me. Right. Um, but what I told her was like, you need to remember how you feel at this exact moment. And you need to either write this down or figure out a way that you can come back to this moment. OK, because if you try to avoid that pain in the future, you're not going to allow yourself to go off plan. If you can remember what that felt like in that moment, um, it's going to be a lot harder for you to go off plan. It's going to be a lot harder for you to do the things, to not do the things that you know you're supposed to do leading up to that um, position where you could have went off plan, right? It's all premeditated guys because you don't just go off plan you like make a conscious choice to go off plan by going i'm not going to think about what food i'm going to eat i'm not going to work out today those are all premeditated thoughts guys so just saying that you went off plan is not a very good excuse honestly because like you've thought about going off plan even though even if you didn't intentionally do so like you made that choice so you have to fess up to that choice and the client that i'm talking about she did that so that was good. And we kind of got somewhere with that. Um, so one thing that really worked for me, guys, was, and this doesn't have to do with me going off plan, but when I went to Columbia, the last time I went, I remember how I felt because I wasn't doing what I needed to do to get my Spanish up to where it should be. Okay. So like, if you don't, if you don't know me personally, like I was adopted at a young age, um, maybe five years ago, I found my family in Colombia. Now I get to go back there once a year, right? And it's great and I love it, but my Spanish is it's really shitty. Like, it's just not good, right? Um, and I get by, like, you know, I say I'm really bad, and but I can get by when I'm there, okay? But it's nowhere where, near where I want it. Um, and when I was there, you know, it was frustrating because people would have conversations and I just couldn't understand them or, like, it kind of makes you feel dumb, okay? So if you've ever been, like, a foreigner in another country and you can't speak the language, like, it's kind of a... Uh, you're it, it's it's hard to understand what that feels like until you actually feel it okay and it makes you feel inadequate like a lot okay so what i did i wrote myself a note in my phone and i literally said like i'm going to practice spanish every single day as soon as i get back to the states okay and i have every single day since i've been back for my trip because what my note said to myself was like, remember how you feel right now, okay? I felt like a handicapped. I felt like, you know, if you've ever felt like a handicapped, like somebody is just trying to help you out because they pity you or whatever. Um, I felt like, you know, kind of ignorant. I felt like, uh, you know, I hated that I couldn't um, explain myself. I hated that I couldn't understand everything. And I'm not, and even when I go back again, I'm not going to... Um, understand everything but like just the fact that i know i did the work leading up to the next trip i'm gonna be okay with it okay i wasn't okay with it because i had done the work to a certain extent and then like a month or two before the trip i fell off i wasn't doing my tutoring sessions i wasn't um studying on my own so i just fell off for like the last two months before the trip so now before my next trip i'm gonna focus on doing it every single day and i still have that note in my phone to remind me like how I felt, okay? And that bring back that pain every single time I look at that note, okay? Um, so I hope that makes sense, guys. It's a really good way to trick your mind into doing things that you know you should be doing, okay? Because you're reliving that pain, okay? So for you guys, reliving that pain would be like, man, I remember when I tried on that bathing suit in the in the store and it wouldn't fit like that really sucked or i remember like going to the pool and i didn't want to take my shirt off like because i was so insecure like write that pain down in your notes in your phone or on a piece of paper and look at it every once in a while and think about it like i don't even have to look at my note i already know what it says but i think about it all the time now because it's in here right um you know the pain could be a lot for you guys like what level of pain does it take for you to finally switch 
where you're supposed to be. I have that conversation with a lot of you guys when I talk to you on the phone for the first time. Like, you know, well, I don't know if I can do this. Like, dude, you told me you're this much overweight. You know, you're having health issues. Da, da, da. Like, what level of pain do you need to go through to finally wake up and do this for yourself, right? And I have to have those hard conversations with people because they won't wake up unless I do. Um, so um, think about that. And it, can, it doesn't have to be the way you look. It could be like, yeah, I almost had a stroke. Or, yeah, you know, my blood pressure is high. And when I went to the doctor, I felt like shit because they're like, dude, you need to drop this blood pressure. So so keep that in mind, guys. I always keep the pain in the back of your head, okay, because that pain is going to push you forward. I told that client, I was like, sometimes pain is the best motivator. Like we have to feel that deep, hardened pain that sucks to think about. You got to feel that like often for you to take it serious and do the daily things that you need to do. So that's kind of my spiel for today, guys. That's uh, your Motivation Monday. Um, shout out to everybody that was asking for it. Uh, I love to do these guys. So if you really like these and you um, like to... Um, you like to uh, listen to them, make sure you're commenting, liking, loving so other people can see them and they can enjoy them as well too and they can get something from them. 